day, new adventure. We got an email yesterday and the drone is in the shop. So we're going to pick it up, really excited. A little bit nervous about ever flying it again, but we're going to pick it up. Um, but straight away, we take a wrong turn. Well, if you can say a wrong turn, because there's no wrong turns on the Lofoten Islands, really, because it's all absolutely amazing. We've just taken a beautiful scenic drive past a few little fishing villages, um, but completely the wrong direction. So we're turning around, we're gonna get back on track and we're taking the coastal route back to Svalbard. Everywhere you go, you get these beautiful little fishing villages or little huts, so picturesque. And they're set on like incredibly beautiful rock formations. And then behind that, you see mountains. Behind those, you see mountains. Behind those, you see mountains, just layers. It's just crazy. We've got finally Mavic Pro Platinum. That's what we went for in the end, by the way. Just because it's a lot different from the Spark, the flight time, battery life that is, flight distance, connectivity, you're not going to lose connection or far less likely to with this. And the Mavic 2, which is the newest drone out, is slightly or quite a lot more expensive and um, we couldn't stretch our budget that far um stretching our budget this far is far enough but we are excited if not a little scared to be getting Petrified. a drone in the air after the last one fell onto the rocks so the initial shots will be about a meter above our heads So we are in the centre of the Henningsver football stadium pitch and it's about to be the maiden voyage of the new drone. Um, there's probably not going to be much of a flight going on now because we're a little bit nervous about using it for the very first time and it's got quite late in the day. Well mission one <laughs> of the first well drone flight failed because we had to update the app and it's taken ages so we're going back to the van because it's cold out here so guys the updates and syncing the drone with the RC the re remote control and all that sort of thing making sure that the first flight was going to be smooth um, it took longer than we planned. We had to charge the batteries during the day, sink it all, and then we were down here and then a big group of people came and we didn't want to take the drone out for the first flight with loads of spectators watching. Um, so by the time they all cleared, it was getting pretty dark and then the wind started to pick up. Check the weather, hoping it was going to clear this morning. Yeah, everyone else has left here now. It's just us, you can probably see here. But this is what we would have shown you. Now this is where we are. That's where I've just walked, the football pitch. And it's absolutely stunning. Yeah, it's not gonna happen. The weather's not getting better for a couple of days. So I think we just need to continue down these islands and see some more epic places. We just thought we'd pull off the road and show you the, this detour we've taken. Basically, we're on the 815, which is a slight detour off the, the main E10 road that runs north to south or south to north. Yeah, it's a lot quieter than the E10, um, which everyone uses because it is quite busy and it's harder to find places to park up for the night off that road. And here, there's so many pull-offs like this where you've got brilliant views that you can uh, have a quiet night's sleep. 
haven't you? It's amazing. It looks so wild. It basically runs across the south coast of this next set of islands. You go past little sort of fishing villages and little sort of hamlets with all these traditional classic red wooden huts that you get in all of sort of the Nordic countries. The little campsite back there we stopped outside and you got the huts and then a bay, a sheltered bay and then these lovely jagged mountains and stuff and it's, it's just so nice. Definitely worth taking this detour. Yeah and even though the weather is so miserable today and has been for the last couple of days we are still enjoying ourselves. It is all about the drive really isn't it more than anything. There is a couple of big hikes that we really want to do before leaving the Lofoten, save the best till last if you like, and the section that we haven't seen yet, which is kind of south from Lechner's, is um, supposed to be the highlights yeah, where everyone of, goes. Yes. Hopefully the sun's gonna come out. Hopefully this will be the last day of completely miserable, can't do anything type hmm. weather. finally got the drone up in the sky for its maiden flight and it's all very exciting. Are you enjoying yourself my love? A little bit worried um, that it's just going to fly up in any direction but apart from that yeah it feels solid. After our last drone just fell out of the sky obviously you are going to be a little bit worried aren't you? But can you hear that? That's about 10 meters above our head and that is so quiet. Like the spark sounds like an angry swarm of bees. This has just got a nice deep hum. I'm glad we went for this. It's quite a bit different from the spark. It feels, just feels solid. Yeah. You've just got to get used to it now. speechless i'm just speechless we've just taken the drone out on that lovely beach there thought wow this is nice come around the corner look at this view So this is Ramberg Beach and in terms of sand it's just beautiful. Yeah. It's just stunning, completely white sand. No seaweed at all. When the sun's shining on it, it's just a beautiful like proper like sky blue. Yeah. yeah. Like the Caribbean. And then it's backed by that awesome set of mountains over there. And then of course all the little colourful houses that are dotted along the shore. I mean it is just absolutely perfect. And right now we are just literally us on the beach. There's no one else down here at all except for the explorers. The boys absolutely love it as well. We could just stay down here for hours watching them play. I know. As soon as they get down here they just come alive. Yeah. Dizzy's so... had a little poorly belly for the last day. Gets down here. My new looks looks funny now <laughs> yeah they just absolutely love the beach and we'll just apologize for how much cute doggy footage of them is about to be in or already has been in this clip what's that Charlie what are you doing so we are minutes away from the sun peeping its head above that mountain and that can only mean one thing Nick stripping off into his speedos and going for a swim. I'm not doing that again. In the ocean. No, I think we're gonna 
I think the dogs are tired now. They've just been chasing a little friend around the beach. So I think they're ready for a little rest in the van. Um, I think we're going to have a bite to eat and then head off. Don't know what to do. Another stunning hike or we'll try and find another beautiful location. So we just spotted a dolphin. Or maybe there's four of them, we've seen it four times. It's just surfacing every now and then. I mean, I've seen dolphins before, loads of them everywhere, but... No, that's pretty cool. This is one of the most stunning beaches on the, the Foton Islands. Coming up to our last few days here and we've just seen a dolphin, so really chuffed about that. I'm about to go and swim with dolphins in the Arctic Ocean. So that's pretty special. But it's going to be blooming freezing. Oh, Your dolphin friend's over there, I just seen him. Oh, feel refreshed then. Wow, he's over there. Sammy Dolphins. And she's gonna win. She's gonna win easily. Another amazing hike here on the Lofoten Islands. It only took about 25 minutes to get up here, but it's quite steep. In fact, it's very, very steep. Um, it's good because you get out of the way quickly and you get amazing views. Down there, that's the town of Ramberg, the beach there, that absolutely amazing white sand beach. And um, yeah, just incredible. It is clouding over a little bit though, quite quickly. So we can't stay around for too long, but again, beautiful views. Yeah, another outstanding hike. This is an easy one. So I don't know if you're, if you're thinking about how good you are at hiking, the easy can be quite tricky. Yeah. I mean, if you're scared of heights, then I mean, I probably wouldn't recommend any of the, the hikes here because this easy one is, you know, it's easy as it doesn't take very long, but it's quite steep getting mm. up. And if you're scared of heights, you would have issues on this, wouldn't you? Yeah, well, I am scared of heights, a little bit. Yeah, but I mean, if you're really but scared yeah. of heights, but yeah, this is tricky, but definitely worth it. Yeah, only half an hour to get up here and you've just got incredible views and um, you can just see where we're going next, which just, it just gets better and better. It's best to start on the mainland and drive to the tip because it just gets better. Yeah, yeah, It's just I agree. incredible. Yeah, saving the best till last for sure. And I'm glad that we left the boys back in the van for this one. They were knackered from the beach anyways. Mm. But yeah, getting down is quite steep again and you know, you've got to be watching your footing without watching them as well at the same time. But yes, really lovely, 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 lovely. It's all so lovely again, isn't it? Now it's stopped raining, the sun's come out today and we've had a really nice day. It's all just lovely. Thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please give us a thumbs up and hit that like button below. If you haven't subscribed to our channel, then please do and keep the comments coming because we absolutely love to hear from you. And we'll see you in the next video.